welcome to my channel. Happy spring. Uh, today, I thought I'd bring you a review of what I think is a perfect springtime scent. It's a classic scent. Today, we have Green Tea by Elizabeth Arden. Now, the perfume has been around for quite a minute, but just because it's an oldie doesn't mean it's not a goodie. The scent was created in 1999 um, uh, by none other than Mr. Francis Curtijan, uh, but I have a very fond memory of this perfume. You know, my mother used to wear this one quite often, um, so I, I do have a bit of a bias to it. I quite love this scent. Um, the main accords of this perfume is it is a very citrus green aromatic and fresh scent and it's exactly that very bright very green not so much earthy but it is a very light and fresh scent uh, the top notes for this perfume is lemon and bergamot mint orange peel and rhubarb so it opens up very bright very citrusy very green um, especially due to the mint and rhubarb it gives it there a, a, almost a bitter uh, opening the middle notes or the heart notes um, very floral you'll get some jasmine there's oak moss which also gives it that green um, fennel which is a very interesting note I've not seen a lot of perfumes with the note of fennel there's musk so it gives it almost that clean very clean vibe, um, carnation and white amber. I haven't seen carnation being used in perfumes recently. I think this is this was a note that was quite popular back in the 90s and early 2000s. I've seen a lot of perfumes that use the note of carnation, and it reflects that in green tea. Um, the base notes for this perfume is, of course, green tea. Again, notes of jasmine and oak moss, musk. There's also notes of celery seeds, caraway, cloves, and amber. So, a clove. Although, you don't necessarily smell each and every single individual note. I think it's very well blended uh, together. I think it's very interesting, the celery, seeds, caraway, cloves, I'm assuming that the cloves gives it that sort of spicy nature. Again, it's not a sharp scent, very fresh, but a uh, uh, very crisp and clean scent. I love it. It is uh, very reminiscent of a dry, like dry tea leaves. Um, the packaging that you can see here, very simplistic. Uh, with a little embossed tea leaf in the back. You know, I, I know we've all seen the scent here. Uh, I can take off the top here. So, nothing too crazy. We can see the atomizer. Pretty good open spray. And I, I really like it. And again, just by the one, the couple sprays I did, it's very aromatic, very fresh, and um, like green tea, I absolutely love it. Now, the best time to wear this scent, I think you can definitely wear this year round. You know, this is a very light, inoffensive scent. It's very pleasant. Um, perfect for the office if you you know you work day jobs um, if you're a healthcare worker you work in a hospital I think this is also a great scent um, you know I don't think this would uh, irritate anyone's allergies or be a very triggering scent um, perfect for spring and summertime I think because of how fresh and clean it is it's great for those hot and humid days we just had a very warm unusually warm day recently so this scent was great on a day like that um, and even if you know you may not like the scent on your person 
you know, maybe it might not work too great with your skin chemistry or, um, you know, your body. Every perfume works differently for everyone. I think it also makes a great room spray. Um, I know that it's not like the best uh, comment, but it's so it's so calming and it's so refreshing that I think just the way that it envelopes and brings into what it brings into the room, it's so pleasing. It's almost like a like a very clean spa or a clean bathroom, for lack of better terms. But again, I I'm very fond of this scent. The longevity is not the best granted it is a very very light and fresh scent so you might not get the long uh, the best longevity for me it lasted I want to say maybe four hours but I think if you know um, if you reapply it's not such a heavy scent that it reapplying would be an issue and it is a very intimate scent so I think this perfume worked best also if you're getting ready to go to bed. I preferably liked wearing it uh, for bed right after I showered. You know, it just extended that fresh and clean feeling. And when you are, you know, you're cuddling under your sheets, it's such a nice and clean scent that, you know, you feel pretty cozy. You know, this was just my quick review on Green Tea by Elizabeth Arden. Again, I love the scent. You know, if I had to rate it, I'd probably give it a solid four four out of five you know it's a light refreshing scent it honestly does make you think of green tea the tea leaves you know with maybe those like a lemon peel um, that you're getting ready to prep for a hot summer day um, it's perfect all year round it's perfect for daytime or nighttime a very calming and comforting scent and it's very very inexpensive you know I which is always a plus for me um, I think I got this scent for maybe 10 10 or 12 dollars at a TJ Maxx Marshalls you can get this even at your pharmacy so I'd love to hear what you think about this scent if you like it if you don't like it you know any fond memories that you might have of it or maybe not so fond memories you know I'd love for you guys to leave a comment um, love to start a conversation with everyone if you like this video definitely give me a like I would most certainly appreciate it um, and I hope to see you in my next one bye